Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna take a look at the Catastita Markets because they're coming out of dormancy. So I'll give you a close up. Here we have a new growth and a few roots developing. And here we have another new growth, which again has some new roots developing. Now, I need to repot these guys. Actually, I'm gonna have to unpot them and leave them be because I need to move out in a little bit. So I cannot repot them. But I do need to unpot these guys. Now, theoretically, it is not the time to water these guys because the roots are kind of tiny. But to unpot them from the moss, I will actually need to soak the pots. Practically, I'm gonna have to water them. Don't worry, nothing bad will happen. The whole reason why we don't actually water Catacinum orchids during their dormancy is because they will not absorb that much water. And if water is left standing in the media, practically soaking them, they are prone to rotting indeed. However, what we're gonna do is just soak them, then keep them dry, so practically we're not gonna keep them soggy. And of course, we're not gonna repot them, so they're gonna dry out pretty, pretty fast. The worst thing that will happen is that we're gonna hydrate these back bulbs. They don't look so good, I don't like them, so I think this will be a good thing. And also, it will help me personally to understand them better, because keeping them unpotted will give me the opportunity to actually see if the old roots died, because they did have a dormancy of about a month or a month and a half. Well, actually, not really. They stayed without any growth for two weeks, but I did not water them in the past one month or one month and a half. And I would just like to see how the roots are doing. Also, it will be an opportunity for me to show you how I know I should start to water them. Or actually, if watering them doesn't really cause them anything as long as it's with measure. I don't know. We're just gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna go soak them right now. Okay, so my orchids are now soaked at a first glance. The old roots are pretty viable. But we'll see how they fare. I'm gonna unpot them now and come back when I'm done. Okay, so I've cleaned up my orchids and I saw something quite interesting. So for this one, this is the black one, the Millennium Magic. When I received it, it really didn't have any roots. So whatever roots you see here, the long ones, are the ones produced during the last year. I don't see any dead root on this orchid. However, and I'll show you the other one, this is the Cygnotus Wine Delight. I have it for about a year and a half right now. And when I repotted it last year, I actually left some of the old roots attached to it because they looked good. And on this one, I would just like to show you, I do indeed have quite a lot of good roots, but also quite a lot of bad roots. And I presume they are the roots that I left on last year. So yeah, it appears that the old roots on Catacetum orchids don't fare so well. Indeed, so for this reason I decided to chop them off and I'll probably chop everything off. All I'm interested in is the roots created by the new growth. And by the way, I have a new growth here, but I think this orchid will try to produce another new pseudobulb right here. Hopefully you can see something's plumping up. So that's good news. So anyway, this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna chop them off. And I'll come back when I'm done. And here are my orchids. As you can see, all of the old roots are gone. Now, I would like to address something. When you're cutting the roots, be extra careful that you don't touch the new growth. I almost did a mistake. Big one right here. I kind of touched it. And it is just so fragile that I made a little wound. It's just a surface wound, but it gave me the scare of my life. So be careful with that. Hopefully it's not going to infect. I hope not. We shall see, but I don't think so because these guys will stay pretty dry for a while. So when the new roots will start to grow, I will switch them from these little pots. But right now I don't intend to water them. We're good. And actually I'm going to show you how I like to determine when a new growth or uh, actually when you should start to water a catacetum orchid based on the roots of the new growth. I think I found a pretty easy solution, but I just need these roots to be bigger. At this moment, I don't think you should water them. I don't think these roots are capable of actually absorbing water. And as they grow, you'll see what I mean. Ready, stay. Do not fall, do not damage yourself. There we go. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I'll keep you up to date. I really, really hope these guys will do okay unpotted. I'll just need to water them as frequent as I can because theoretically these are epiphytes. They can be grown mounted or a bit bare root, let's say, but they do like to attach to stuff. So they should be okay 
a month and a half to without any media hopefully i'll keep you up to date so thank you for watching if you like to see more videos from me and stay up to date simply subscribe to my channel i post on a daily basis feel free to leave me questions suggestions or anything you'd like in the comment section below and i'll get back to you if you click on the left side of your screen you'll be directed to workinature.com where you'll find care sheets identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section and on the right side of your screen you can click to watch another orchid video Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!